In this video, we'll learn how to capture text from the HTML and create multiple fields from the same line of text. I've already built an agent that collects the product name from each list item. Now, I want to collect the star rating, so I'll hover my cursor over the general area of the star rating and click to capture. The builder recognizes a few common data formats, like price. I'll click on Capture the text into a new field and name it Star Rating. A green highlight appears on the web page, showing me the area that has been captured. The highlight is larger than the star rating and contains unwanted text, so I'll need to refine the captured text to extract only the star rating. After clicking on Save and Refine, a window appears where I can modify the way this text is captured. The first thing I notice is that the text describing the star rating does not appear here. It's my experience that the star rating text that generally accompanies the image is often found in the HTML. So I'll change the capture mode from text to HTML. I can now see the star rating text. To modify my capture definition to only capture this text, rather than everything in the content window, I need to use boundaries. Generally, I will use whatever characters are on either side of my target data as boundaries. I see that there is a greater than and less than symbol on either side of the star rating, so I'll type these characters on either side of the field name in my capture definition as boundaries. Notice the content window still isn't highlighting the correct data. That's because the star rating is not the first occurrence of a greater than and less than sign. To make it more specific, I need to include more text in my boundaries. I see that before the greater than sign, decimal quote appears. So I'll type those characters before the greater than symbol in my capture definition. I now see the text correctly displayed in the capture text preview. In part one of this training, you may have seen me highlight text in the content window to create a definition, rather than manually typing in the capture definition itself. This works well in many cases, but manually typing a definition is the most reliable. I'll click Save. Now I want to capture two other fields, model number and catalog number. I'll click on the same general area that I did before and choose Capture this text again and Capture this text into a new field. I'll name the field Model Number and choose Save and Refine. I can see that the target data for Model Number is surrounded by a colon and a space on one side and a space on the other. So I'll type colon space on one side of the field name and then space on the other. I'm not interested in any of the text between this space and this colon. So after the space I'll type percent ignore percent followed by a colon. I know the target data for catalog number follows the colon so I'll type percent catalog number percent after the colon in my capture definition. Finally, I see that there is no text to act as a boundary outside of the catalog number, but there are additional lines following that number. So I'll press enter on my keyboard to add a carriage return, indicating that the action should stop capturing when it reaches the next line. I can see the text capturing correctly in the capture text preview. Now I want to capture the price, so I'll click on New. Here are a number of options, each designed to capture a different common data type. Things like US street addresses, phone numbers, emails, and website URLs can be automatically detected by these definitions. I'll choose Price. This produces a number of definitions that will capture the most common price formats, including most currency symbols. I can see the price in the captured text preview, so I'll click Save. Using the refined captured text, I was able to successfully capture otherwise hard-to-reach data quickly and easily. 
This concludes part two of this training, where we learned to capture data from the HTML and create multiple fields from the same line of text.